So hi there, it's Tyler here from Voices Inc. And this is going to be a video review of Playground Sessions. So Playground Sessions is a piano learning software. It's one of my favorites. Uh, if you are looking for online piano lessons or you're looking to learn the piano online, this is definitely uh, the software that you're going to want to learn about. So this review is a two-part review. We're going to do a video review where you know I run through what exactly Playground Sessions is. I'll show you how to set it up really quickly and then jump over to an actual account and a dashboard so you can kind of see the back end of what you get. And then the written review is going to discuss a bit more about the specifics. Uh, there's sometimes a lot of frequently asked questions and compatibility questions and what you get and sort of my own personal views after using this software. So there's two parts. You're watching the video here. Directly below this video, if you're on YouTube, you can find the link to the full written review where you can get a whole bunch of more uh, information as well. Now, if you are watching this on the website itself, below the video, um, you will see a big button that says, you know, visit the official website. Now, I do encourage you to click that because when you come over to Playground Sessions main website, which I'm on right now, under support, there's the frequently asked questions page. So here, uh, Playground Sessions does an awesome, awesome job at really covering all the common questions. So sometimes there's questions about, you know, what kind of keyboard do I need? Um, does this work on a laptop? Does it, is there an app? Uh, how do the memberships work and so forth. So uh, Playground Sessions has done a great job at covering all these frequently asked questions, system requirements, keyboard info, uh, et cetera. So I'm gonna cover the main ones, but I really strongly encourage you to click the button below this video that says visit the official website, come over here in case you have some specific uh, questions that we don't really cover in this video review. Okay, so you might be wondering, you know, what exactly is Playground Session? So I'm going to cover that here, but if you want more detailed information, you can find that link below this video to the official website where they give a full overview of exactly, you know, what the software is and exactly what you get. But I'm going to give a quick sort of overview of that here. So if you're thinking, you know, online piano lessons or learning the piano from home, Playground Sessions is that software that you need. So, you know, the days of heading out to piano lessons every Tuesday and Thursday night, you know, those days are sort of over. You can do everything from your home now and you can do it at a fraction of the cost. Now, the software that we're going to actually take a look at in just a minute, you know, it teaches you how to play the piano with interactive lessons, uh, which feature a lot of your favorite songs. So, some of the lessons have video displays, um, other ones just have the song lesson, but the main idea here is that uh, there's effective learning tools, but it's combined sort of a fun and interactive learning environment. So for beginners where you're going to need to learn a bit about some music theory associated with the piano, a lot of that is done with songs that you know, which makes it fun and interactive and, you know, it's not boring. Whereas as you move up, there are advanced lessons and even for those people who sort of already know how to play the piano, you know, they've got a whole library of songs that you can learn. So a lot of this software can be used for song lessons as well as music theory lessons as you progress from the beginner stages all the way up to advanced lessons. So there's a interactive dashboard that you use. It gives you feedback, you know, as you play, you can see your progress and so forth. So it plays like a game, but it's very much real piano lessons as well. Now when you do sign up with Playground Sessions, you'll get a welcome email and that will have a download link where you can download the software. So you can download it for Windows, for Mac. Uh, there's an app available in the App Store and Playground Sessions is available on Android devices as well. So here I'm on my laptop, so I'm going to download the Mac version and just save it to my laptop as I would any other type of program. So once I load it up, I'll drag it to the applications and now I have it in my application. So I've stored it in my dock and you just click that and it opens up. Yeah. 
So here I will input my username and my password and then you'll go through some welcome uh, information. So it's going to give you some tips and tricks on you know how to use the dashboard and we're going to jump over to my actual dashboard with this specific account that I have set up for this review. Now as you do go through these steps uh, you will need an internet connection initially so that's what it's doing here just to set it up. Uh, from the very first time that you use the software uh, and then when you do continue it's going to say that we're almost there it's time to set up your uh, MIDI keyboard so I've got one of those plugged into my laptop it recognizes it I just click next and then I just sync it by uh, pressing the furthest keys on the left and the right side of the keyboard now I'm set to go everything's hooked up it's that easy and we'll go check out my dashboard now just a quick note on keyboards to really use and benefit from playground sessions you're going to want to use the software that's compatible um, with a keyboard so whether it's a MIDI or USB keyboard or digital piano that's the really the best way to use playground sessions so if you don't have one of these um, under the support section there's keyboard information uh, you can certainly get a bundle package from Playground Session. So you can save a lot. Uh, if you don't have a keyboard or digital piano, uh, you can get these uh, different bundle packages which include uh, subscription to the software. So they've got quite a few uh, different options and some excellent prices uh, under uh, their uh, support section or their store section for keyboards. Now this is what the dashboard is going to look like for Playground Sessions. So you can see here, there's a few different sections. There's My Playground, Boot Camp, My Song, Song Store, and Forum. So here in My Playground, we're looking at this specific account is at level eight. Um, they have grouped up 17 uh, song credits. So you can continue to use the software and build credits to get songs. And the total time spent on this account is one hour and 55 minutes. And it shows your progress through the different tours. So that's your dashboard. The progress bar shows your progress and your score buildup. And then if you've earned any bat, if you've earned any badges uh, through your progress. So that's my playground. And that's your main sort of dashboard there and then there is the boot camp section so within the boot camp section these are where all the lessons are happening so there's a rookie tour intermediate tour and advanced tour so we'll jump in and look at some of the lessons from the rookie tour and then some advanced lessons as well and I'll show you a sort of song lesson as well as a theory lesson from these ones and then you can progress through my song so this is the one that I've downloaded so far and then there's a forum and a song store so uh, some songs are free and then you will have the option to purchase some other songs so they've got uh, tons of different songs in here and when you download a song you get the full lesson uh, for you to learn that particular song some song lessons have video tutorials as well and they're grouped here rookie intermediate advanced and through the different genres so uh, rookie songs if we hit advanced then you've got some other new songs here so you'll get songs from movies songs from artists uh, songs from video games and so forth so let's jump over to the boot camp section and see how the software works for some of these lessons Okay, so I've loaded up a beginner lesson from the Boot Camp Rookie Tour. It's called Five Finger Position. It's the second lesson uh, in the beginner stages. And we've made our way down to the seventh lesson. So I'm going to stop and just play the lesson so you can see how the software works. And then we'll jump over and explain the whole dashboard that we're looking at here. One, two, three, four. One, two, set.
Okay, so there we saw the software in action for a beginner type of lesson. So once you hit play, you'll get the dial that runs through the piano notations there. And as you play, because your keyboard is hooked up to your laptop or your iPad, Playground Sessions will recognize you know, what notes you play. And at the end of each song lesson or this particular type of lesson, you'll get an accuracy score. So here we can see down at the keyboard, we've got middle C, D, E, F, G, and we also have numbers. So if we come up to the top here, you can see a music note with the number one. As you progress, you know, in the beginner stages, sometimes it's easier to associate numbers with C, D, E, and F. And as you progress, you might want to eliminate numbers and go straight to the actual note. So if you click here, then instead of the numbers, now all the notes you can see here are the actual letter piano notes. If we click the numbers, then you see the numbers again. So that's a good way for beginners to start, but as you progress, you might want to transition away from the numbers and then you can also transition away from the letters as well. So now you can just have your notes and read the music as it was real music sheets. Now here, down here, for these uh, keyboards that are highlighted, there's also the option to uh, eliminate these. If you click away from these hands here, when the lesson starts, you're not going to get any um, guide is towards when the notes should be played or not with either hand. And there's some other sort of dashboard information here. We've got a play button. There's a uh, toggle looping. You can record the sessions. You can speed up or slow down the particular lesson. Uh, here you can zoom in and you can zoom out. Um, you can print the lesson and so forth. So there's a lot of different features here, but that was the main gist of it. Basically, as you play along with the software. It will read um, and give you an accuracy score. And as you progress, you know the lessons start to get a little bit harder. And eventually, you're going to move away from reading the numbers, reading the notes, and just be able to, you know, play some beautiful piano uh, on your own. So that's the main end goal. So let's jump over and look at maybe a bit more of a difficult lesson. Here we are in the advanced tour. So we'll jump in and run through this lesson just as a quick example. Uh, 16th notes, blank spaces, uh, that particular song. But I don't want to jump back and forth and not really allow you to see how much information you really get with these lessons. You know, the rookie tour goes in depth with all different types of lessons. So if you're at the beginner stages, you have all these different lessons that progress in a, you know, a linear fashion. You're building from the beginner stages step by step through these uh, song lessons and then some um, application lessons and so on. Then you jump to the intermediate tour and build up as well. And then you can jump over to the advanced tour. So here we're just doing two sort of uh, demonstrations. That was a sort of an easy lesson. We'll jump into a hard one, but there is a ton of stuff here with playground sessions and a whole uh, bunch of songs as well. So song lessons, uh, as you progress, you can learn your favorite song. So tons of stuff here, not really doing this whole software justice by jumping here with these two examples, but I just wanted to emphasize that. So let's jump in and see uh, how you know, advanced these lessons and these songs uh, can really get. One, two, three, four, one, two, set, go. And that was the chorus for Taylor Swift's song, Blank Spaces, one of the many songs that Playground Sessions has. So as a beginner, you can work your way up to a song like this. Or if you are, you know, an intermediate or advanced player, uh, Playground Sessions has loads of songs like this where, you know, you can learn them step by step. Uh, you can get the software up and running. It can, you know, see how accurate you are. It's a great way to learn, great way to practice. So 
Overall, uh, Playground Sessions, if you're interested in online lessons, learning the piano from home, definitely one of my top uh, recommendations for sure. So I encourage you, uh, if you're on YouTube, you can uh, find the links in the description. Come and read the full review. Uh, if you are reading this full review already here on the website, I strongly encourage you to visit the official Playground Session website uh, through this link. Playground Sessions often has you know, deals, sales, um, you can get a bundle if you don't have a keyboard and so forth. So come over to the official Playground Sessions website. Um, you can find some more frequently asked questions that perhaps we didn't cover, some system requirements, keyboard information, uh, and you can also, also you know, get the best deal on some subscriptions for this software. So it's a great software, I highly recommend it, and I hope that you found uh, this video review useful. Take care.